Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, everyone. Whatever time it is you're watching this video, welcome back to my channel. And once again, we are here for our yearly review of my newest pair of pain glasses. Now, you'll notice the box does look like it's been opened, and spoiler, that's because it has been. I tried to record this before, and well, for some reason, I messed up. <laughs> So, I had to restart everything, so I just popped everything back in the box. Don't worry. Ah, once again, my nails never fail to be atrocious. Ha, ah, ignore that. So, I popped everything back in the box, but don't worry. I didn't actually open the actual glasses, just the box. And I unwrapped this. It was in plastic, but here is my glasses. This is their deluxe case this year that I got. Um, I'm not sure what exactly this material is. It's kind of like a, it's got a leathery feel to it, but I'm not sure if it's leather or is it supposed to be like suede, but either way, it's vegan. So that's, yay. No animals were hurt in the making of this gorgeous, gorgeous glasses case. And um, one thing I will say, when I did order <clears throat> my glasses, the option to um, upgrade to the deluxe case was how I decided to switch to it. Um, the update, the upgrade, sorry, was only going to be 99 cents, so I thought, why not, just to try it out. Um, but with the upgrading it through the glasses order, you get a random case. But on their website, they actually have these deluxe cases that you can purchase separately, and then you can pick colors from whatever is available at the time. Now, <clears throat> what I neglected to mention uh, this go round, because again, as I said, I'm re filming this, was that I also this year bought a anti fogging cloth which is this, and I'm really excited to try it out and see if it actually works and whatnot. And once again, the ruler to test your, or <clears throat> to find out your own pupillary distance. And they have it for <clears throat> each individual eye. But as an aside to that, this year I actually couldn't find my ruler that I had from my last purchase, which I found after I ordered them. Funny how that happens, isn't it? But <clears throat> I couldn't find it, so I used um, their online ruler, and their online ruler, for some reason, or at least what I saw, only had the singular pupillary distance available instead of the pupillary distance per each eye. So this year, I went with a singular pupillary distance instead of both. By the way, this is not a tablecloth that you see here. I actually decided this year that I wanted to attempt to crochet my very first temperature blanket. And I vastly misunderstood the instructions <laughs> because the yarn that was supposed to be used was a very thin yarn. And I am using, as you can see from this little scrap piece right here, uh, I guess worsted weight number four, which I guess is the most common type of yarn if I'm not mistaken So my blanket is huge. It, oh my glasses. Ha! My glass. Uh, my blanket <laughs> My blanket is huge as you can see um, It's like bigger than a king-size bed. Hello, it's me from the future Enough of that. This is the photo of it completed. I finished it on New Year's Eve actually. Okay, so now what you're actually here to see if you're still here, thanks by the way, <laughs> the glasses. <clears throat> and what I discovered when I opened these the first time when I was filming is these things are hecka heavy. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but we'll see. Uh, and they still do have the sanitation sticker on them. So that's great to know that they are still, you know, still sanitizing even though COVID and everything is kind of getting behind us. It's glad it's good to know that they're still doing this and I'm really happy that they are Okay, so I'm gonna oh yeah, and also it's you know wrapped in its cleaning cloth It's normal cleaning cloth and then of course like I said, I also have the 
anti-fogging cloth. Anyway, I'm gonna unwrap this so we can both see what these glasses look like together. Okay, and we're back. And here they are. Now, I did take a little sneak peek and pop them on my face just to see what they looked like. I was super curious. Even though, yes, they do have the glasses try-on feature still on their website. That is a live try-on feature, not just a still photo. I just always like to see, you know, to compare the video versus real life. And I love them. <laughs> of course. Like, when have I not? Um, so let's see. I've got a really good close-up feature on this camera, so we can get real close in here. Not that close, <laughs> apparently. And see these little ridges on the design of the glasses. See? Um, and also, on the side, they have these, which I didn't notice in the photograph, but it's really cute. Where is it now? Oh, right here. Oh, my hands are shaking so much. They've got these... Hold on. Ah, see? Like little... Look like little crystal uh, add-ins on the little handles. It's so cute. And mm, my hands are shaking. Goodness. <sighs> this is what I get for having asthma attacks. Yep. Just used my inhaler a few minutes ago. Excuse the shaking. But yeah, this is how thick my lenses are. And this is the um, side of the glasses. And I guess this is how the frame closes up is right here. Which, that's really interesting. It almost gives it like a uh, half-framed look, almost, when it has, you know, real frames. And that was something I was really looking for this year, um, like the half-rimmed, ah, the half-rimmed kind of look. <clears throat> that That's definitely something I was looking for this year. Um, and I, I think I found it with these which I'm really, really happy about. Um, and of course, I got the um, tint for them, so when I go out in the sun, they will turn gray, like sunglasses. <sighs> also, I haven't mentioned this before, but excuse my voice. I know I sound terrible. I'm trying really hard to combat that, so I don't sound super gravelly. I am actually sick with the flu. Yay. Um... But yeah, so they have the singular pupillary distance. I did check, like I said, I put them on for a second. And holy sharpness, I wish I could show you how, well, my eyesight isn't horrible, I guess, according to my eye doctor. But I, like right now, okay, for example, you see these books right in front of me? I can't see them. Like I, I, I can see the colors, but I can't see any of the words or anything. Like, I can see them on the camera right now, because I'm zoomed in a bit. So through the camera lens, I can see them. But if I looked at them in real life, everything would be <clears throat> everything would be completely blurred, and I wouldn't be able to make out any of those words at all. And with the glasses on, I can see them clearer than they're coming through the camera right now. Which I'm thankful for, because I've been without glasses, actually, since October. On my birthday of all days, October 23rd, in case anybody wanted to know... Yep, I'm a Libra Scorpio cusp. <laughs> Blabbering on. Anyway. I really should stop blabbering in these videos, but... Uh, this is me, I guess. Take me or leave me. Anyway, these are the glasses. Um, I'll probably, when I edit this, I'll add some footage of me having them on. But I'm not going to put them on right this second. Right now, we're just going to get to the testing. So first, I think let's test, you know, the uh, photochromic lenses. Here we are outside, as per usual. And as you can see, it's already starting to turn a little gray. Not too much, because today is kind of an outcast day. So I wouldn't expect it to be too dark. It is a bit overcast today, but you can see there's almost a 
purpley hue coming over it. And you can definitely see that it is slightly darker than in real life. So I suppose today isn't really the best day to test out the um, photochromic lenses, but what can you do, right? I mean, you see it, they're working, it's a thing. <laughs> This is the back of the anti-fogging cloth. <laughs> Apparently I have a helper. Edelin. Right? Yep, Edelin, my daughter. Anyway, do you want to shine your light on there? On there. <laughs> Mommy. Yes, we have white. Uh, it's on the hand. Well, this is, oh my God. So this is the back of the anti-fogging cloth, and there's instructions and um, usage uh, suggestions, I suppose. Um, and notice right here it says hot pot, and over here it says cooking. So the fastest and easiest way, I guess, for me to test this out would be to use basically both of these methods, essentially. So basically, I've got a pot of hot water on the stove, and it's boiling right now. And once it's done boiling, I'm gonna, you know, show you like a before and it's after. Hot it's hot it's hot <laughs> I'm gonna show you a before and after. So I'm gonna pop my glasses over the pot, or at least over the steam from the pot, <coughs> while it's, you know, not been cleaned. And then I'm going to clean one of them the lenses, that is, with the cloth and see what happens. When I actually looked up anti-fogging cloth usage, that's actually what somebody did to demonstrate it. They used a steamer and then they steamed both the lenses of the glasses and cleaned off one lens just to demonstrate the difference. So I'm gonna do that too. So just really, just really quick, here's the pot. Let's see. They both fogged up really bad. Now I'm gonna go off camera. Which I probably shouldn't do this off camera, but I don't have a tripod or anything. So you'll just kinda have to take my word for it, I guess. I don't know, we'll see. All right, so I have wiped off this lens with the cloth and let's see what happens. Oh, wow, it actually works. Um, whoa. <laughs> um, that's the cloth. Oh, okay. This is the cloth, by the way. That's what it looks like. Um, and here we're going to, I'm going to show you again. Um, okay, clearly I didn't get over in the corner very well. But pretty much you can see it's not fogging like the other lens is. So that's pretty dang cool. That is pretty dang cool if you ask me. All right, so here's the overview of my order. There's my prescription and the photographic representation of the glasses, their name and their code number. Listed also is the subtotal and all of the add-ons that I put on for my glasses this time. You can actually pause to read that if you'd want to. Um, here also is the accessories listed, which was just the anti-fogging cloth, its price, and then custom instructions can be added at the bottom. In this photo, you'll notice that the total is different, and that's because I actually was able to get 30% off through their website, and they usually have a lot of good deals. Here's a photo of me wearing the glasses with a Snapchat filter on, and my little helper, of course. And then here's a photo of us outside when it was sunny so that you could see the photochromic lens. Thanks again for sticking around to the end of the video. Like and subscribe if you want to. I hope everybody had a great Christmas and has a great New Year. Okay, uh, okay, bye. <laughs>